Vengeance is mine, I shall repay. Trumpet call of God. June 7, 2010 From the Lord our God and Savior The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy during an online fellowship for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, My sons and daughters, do you believe I am who I am? Do you know I am with you? Hold fast, therefore, for the Lord of heaven and earth is about to do an awesome and terrible thing, a wonder, an astonishment. Behold, the peoples of the earth shall be made to shudder, their hearts shall fail them for fear, their minds shall be cast into confusion over those things coming to pass before their eyes. For the terror of the Lord shall overtake them, and all shall fear, faces paling, eyes gathering blackness. And still, the wicked will not understand. Indeed, they will clasp their hands over their ears and squeeze their eyes shut. For long have they denied me, long have they turned to me their backs. For they do always fight against me. Yet the wise shall understand and come to repentance, and I shall heal them, and they shall be delivered, says the Lord. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord, O peoples of the earth. I am coming down. And as a darkening sky brings foreboding, and roiling clouds bring forth lightning, and shake the earth with thunder, and as the mighty whirlwind drops down suddenly out of the midst of the storm, bringing great destruction upon all on its path, so shall the power of the Lord be in the day of his anger, swift destruction from on high upon all my enemies, says the Lord. For thus says the mighty one of Jacob, Behold, the heavens shall shake, and a great trembling shall come up from beneath. I shall make my presence felt in the land of Israel. The sun shall be darkened, and fire shall fall from heaven upon my enemies. And with great hailstones shall I strike them in my anger. In my fury I shall cast them down and tear their companies in pieces. Heaps of wreckage multitudes of broken bodies littering the open fields. Behold, I shall put the hold to all their weapons of war, for I shall rain down upon them a flooding rain, a great deluge, and they shall sink deep into the mire thereof, unable to gain any ground or foothold. Their armies shall be driven backward, bold soldiers shall cower, in fear, and mighty men shall flee before the might of the Holy One of Israel, and that over which men were given dominion shall rise up and have dominion over them, plagues closing in on every side. And behold, every mighty man and proud soldier who sets foot in the land of Israel to kill and to take spoil shall be overcome with madness brother against brother, nation against nation, every man striking his neighbor on the jest. Behold, I shall splatter the mountains of Israel, and the hills shall drop down with blood. I shall litter the open fields with dead bodies, and the stink of your rotting corpses shall fill the air and inundate the valleys. The smoke of your burning going up forever, O enemies of Israel, for your plans are uncovered, your loathing hearts are made known, and shall fail you for fear. For I shall cause your hate to eat your flesh like fire, 
as you watch all your plans return atop your own heads, says the Lord God, for that by which you came to spoil shall become the spoil, and with the destruction you conceived so shall you be destroyed. And behold, you shall become a most loathsome sight in the eyes of all nations, an astonishment and a terror to all who look upon you. For as it is written, I will bring judgment upon my enemies with pestilence and bloodshed. I will magnify myself in the land of Israel and show my greatness, my holiness shall be revealed and my presence made known in the eyes of all nations. Thus those who bore the sword in agreement shall fall upon it and those who came forth in great numbers shall be overrun, says the Lord. Yet understand this, O enemies of Israel. Think not that I do this according to the righteousness of the people in the land of Israel, for they too have forgotten me, and walk not in the way of the Lord, rejecting my salvation still. Therefore hear me, for I declare it to every tribe, tongue, and nation. For my own name's sake shall I do it. For the name of the King, who comes quickly together, shall it be done. And for the sake of my beloved servants, from Noah to David, shall I remember my promises. Then they will know I am the Lord. He who sets up kingdoms and brings them to ruin. He who set the foundations of the earth and covered them with beauty. He who also set the stars in their places and caused the galaxies to take their form. He to whom all creation bows down. He whose power is limitless and by whose wisdom all things were brought forth. Whose authority is absolute. For the everlasting has no ruler, I am. Or have you, O peoples of the earth, so quickly forgotten there is a God who reigns in Israel, the same who is and was and is to come, the Almighty? Have you come so far in your self-proclaimed knowledge that you now believe you have done it, and by your own strength you stand? How long shall you put forth theories as fact and make confident assertions without knowledge? Tell me, are you in any way able to understand the beginning and the end? Foolish, deceived peoples, most arrogant generation, you know nothing, yet as you ought to know, nor do you seek after true knowledge. Thus wisdom remains hidden from your eyes. For I tell you the truth, you have covered yourselves in darkness, in ignorance you have brought forth, and with great arrogance you have pushed ahead, and for the sake of greed you have stepped over the edge, and are about to fall into the pit. For a cloak of pride conceals your form, and darkness covers your head. Therefore all revelation has fled away and the light of understanding has departed from you, leaving you blind and desolate, unable to discern the truth of who I am. Have you never read from the beginning it was I who had done it, and to the end I am God? Therefore hear the word of the Lord. In the days of Noah was I not more than a little displeased, my anger coming up into my face over that which man had wrought upon the earth. And in my hot displeasure did I not cover the earth with waters from above, and open the storehouses from beneath, drowning the whole world in my bitter tears? Behold, mankind has brought me to this place once again. Because of the multitude of sin, 
which spreads across every land unimpeded. Because of all this evil which increases upon the earth every day, because of the multitude of tears and wailing which has entered my ears, and the outcry of the oppressed who cry out day and night without ceasing, because of the multitude of slain, and because of the silent screams of every unborn child whom you have murdered and torn in pieces while still in the womb, O most wicked generation, peoples of the earth, your works are detestable. I am appalled by what I see. This generation is evil, says the Lord, wicked beyond compare. Great is the innocent blood which remains on their hands. Thus bitter sadness fills my heart, and anguish grabs hold of me. My anger builds, and my fury rises up within me, as I set my face to destroy and to wipe away, to cleanse the face of the whole earth once again. All wickedness into the fire, every last vestige of man's invention, wiped away. Cry out, therefore, wail loudly and lament, for the wicked shall not go unpunished. Behold, the time of recompense is here. For thus says the Lord, No more shall my enemies fight against me without retribution. No more shall the transgressions of the nations continue without judgment. Their wickedness shall not go unpunished. For I shall stretch out my hand against them until all their abominations cease, until the nations fall with a great crash and the pride of the people comes to an end. For my name alone shall be exalted in all the earth and no more shall it be blasphemed among the nations, says the Lord God. No more shall the enemies of Israel seek to cast off my people, Jacob, for my name is there. And no more shall any who dwell upon the earth spit upon the name of the king, nor pollute his word among the people any more. Neither shall Gentile, nor Jew, nor any among those who claim to be grafted in, who reject my salvation, or forsake my commandments, continue on without strong rebuke and swift discipline. I am the Lord. Therefore I have indeed set my face to destroy, to break apart, and to strip away, until every cracked foundation is exposed, and every corrupt house which stands so high and lofty is cast down and collapses upon the desolate, until every nation is left in ruins, and the whole land is laid waste, for in their loftiness they built high, with no solid foundation beneath them, thus the weight of their accomplishments shall crush them, until only dust and ashes remain. For I am a great king, says the Lord, the only God of power and glory, who holds infinite might, whose anger is righteous, whose judgment is true, and whose justice shall be swift. Behold, I shall surely cleanse the earth, I shall wipe the slate clean. In the heat of my indignation I shall burn the face of the whole earth with fire, and it shall be cleansed. Yet, I have not forgotten my promises, or the covenants which I made with my servants and my beloved, my own sons and daughters who had sought after my heart. Therefore, for the sake of my covenants and for the love of my servants, because of my promises, I yet withhold the full weight of my judgment and the full power of my wrath nor shall I flood the face of the earth in my anger, nor drown the nations in the depth of my sorrow. For that which I pour out shall not be a flood of water, which covers, 
but a flood of judgment, which shall be made plain. Yet I shall not make a full end until every last grain of wheat has been gathered, and every innocent child is gone from this place, until every last one of the cold is delivered. Then they will know I am the Lord, he who overthrew Sodom and destroyed Gomorrah and punished Egypt with terrible plagues. Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, the God of Israel, for holy is the one who has declared it, and strong is the one who will also do it. For I am the Lord, I do not change.